what is up guys it's Mike and Jimmy we're here welcome to uh, my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to episode 31 of my uh, gothic 3 playthrough now in this particular episode we're gonna go towards uh, the monastery of Enos and uh, uh, do the couple of quests there as well as learn a bit more about ancient knowledge not that I really need it but we're still gonna go to the monastery to at least get the final fire chalice so without further ado guys let's begin Let's see how our good friend Milton is doing. I don't need the ancestor stones or a cool mop thing anymore. So, alright, so let's continue towards uh, the monastery. Where the servants of eagles reside. Maybe they can sell me some vials at the monastery. I don't know as long as I can use them. For permanent mana. Since my hunting capabilities are as high as they have to be at the moment in any rate. So far I haven't found a better bow. And uh, my ancient knowledge is also at 250 plus so... I can learn basically every spell that I want to learn. Greetings, in the name of Enos, Wanderer. You are our first guest since, since the new maid showed up here. It's good to see a fresh face for a change. What are you doing here? I am watching for the Chosen One. Master Altus said that he will come. He will save us. I am the Chosen One. Stop it. You don't joke about things like that. I am sure the Chosen One will come. I am the Chosen One, you dumb mage. What new mage? Milton. He hasn't been here long, but you probably won't even see him. He's always in the Cave of Enlightenment. Milton is here? Do you know him? I find him somehow odd. 
He is still so young, and yet... Yet what? He seems so grown up, as though he had experienced a great deal. Indeed that he has. The Cave of Enlightenment? The Monastery Sanctuary. Enos revealed himself to humans there. As thanks, they built this monastery and the mighty shrine in the cave. What is Milton doing in the cave? Research. He gathered a stack of old books from the library. I haven't seen him since then. Oh yes, and he had this chalice with him. But what that's all about, I don't know. What is there in the monastery? At the moment, there aren't a whole lot of us. Many of us were killed in the war. But why am I talking? You should go talk to Master Altus. He will be glad to hear news from the outside. Can you teach me magic? No. Only Master Altus and Master Dargoth are powerful enough to work magic. With the failure of rune magic, I lost all of my magic. I can only use spell scrolls. And even those exhaust me more than before. Have you ever tried using mana potions? No. They're very rare here. Do you have some? Nope. Can you give me five of them? Then I can finally do magic again. What will I get for the mana potions? Hmm, I'm just a simple servant of Enos. What could I give you? What about gold? I'll see what I can scrape together. I want an appreciable sum. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. You'll be satisfied. I better be since these mana potions are very valuable to me. Here are your potions. Very good. Here's your gold. If you're looking for other things, maybe I can sell them to you. Show me your goods. 1500, where would you look at that? Now these two armors are for the servants of Enos. So I'm not gonna get them. I will however get all the wine, all the vials, do you have King's Sorrels? What kind of potions do you... I'm still ser searching for a uh, recipe for poison. And he has 11,000 gold. Still 3,000. Well, let's see what I can get. For 3,000. So he can't really afford this. Ah, my bad. Okay. Show me your goods. Good, good. Potions, vials. Do you have a recipe for poison? Of course you don't. What a shame. It's 23,000. Thank you. Show me your goods. Well, they surely have lots of vials and potions and whatnot out here, which is good. I'm not gonna complain. 27,000. thousand still don't cause any trouble here got it got it
Halt! None shall approach the sanctuary. Nobody? Nobody who doesn't have permission from Master Altus. Don't you have anything to do? What are you, a rebel, doing here? Surely had to have some balls. Enos, be with you. What is it you seek in the library? I'm looking for magic and ancient knowledge. You have come to the right place, then. I have spent a lot of time in these catacombs, studying the wisdom of our forefathers. Perhaps I can assist you. Teach me something about ancient magic. Right, so he can't teach you anything? I am looking for the fifth temple of the ancient ones. There are no temples here, just ice, mountains, and orcs. I cannot help you, I'm afraid. I just want to look around. The upper chambers are at your disposal. But please, be careful and do not take anything. The lower chambers contain the oldest scriptures of the library. Only trained staff may enter there. The risk that something might be destroyed is just too high. Once you know what you're looking for, come back and see me. I am looking for an artifact. What kind of artifact? A ring. It was brought north from the desert a thousand years ago. Hmm. No, never heard of it. Maybe you can find something in the Chronicles of Dominion. What are those chronicles? They contain the entire history of our order. In particular, they deal with the order's early years. Great. Where can I find the book? In the library. But there's a problem. What problem? This book contains many secrets. Therefore, we have sealed it with magic. Only our mages were able to read the book. Where's the problem then? Because the magic was lost, nobody can predict what will happen when we open the book. You must proceed very carefully. Where can I find the chronicles? They are in the library, bottom level. It will I spawn the undead. Enos be with you, brother. What are you doing here? Research. Before this incident with the runes, I used to be a master of transformation magic. And now, I seem to be nothing but a simple peasant these days. But rumor has it that there are other ways of transforming oneself. What have you heard? I heard of people who are able to change even if they are not magicians. Just imagine if I could do that too. Then everything would be like it used to. What do you need? Have you ever heard of druids? Nope. They have a stone that gives them power. I need such a stone. What's in it for me if I help you? I borrowed an ancient book from the library. There isn't much I can do with it. I will give it to you. You can draw lots of ancient knowledge from it. Don't really need it, but... Can you teach me something? Oh, yes. I studied lots of ancient books in order to find out the secrets of magic, but it's hopeless. I understand the theory, but my spirit is simply not strong enough. I can tell you about this long-forgotten knowledge if you like. Teach me something about ancient magic. I will get you such a stone. That is great. I wouldn't survive for an hour out there without my magic. You're a lifesaver. Where can I find a druid? There is a hunter with the Wolf Clan. His name is Bogir. I am sure that he is a druid. Which is the only stone that you can give to him. The Wolf Stone. It's too bad that you just can't give him any stone, you know. Welcome, brother. Times are tough, and much tougher still here in the north. I don't really need my druid stones anymore due to the fact that I've uh, the capabilities of Adenauts to transform into any critter that I gaze upon. So if I see a fire golem and I use it, I will transform into a fire golem. Do I see a, a snapper, I will transform into a snapper. Do I see a bunny, I will transform into a bunny, snake, etc. You know. You're not from here, are you? No, I come from Mertana. Geldern, to be more exact. I fled when the orcs came. I found a new place to stay when I came here. 
Can you sell me something? I can't offer you much of a selection. In Nordmar, it's hard to find the necessary ingredients for potions. But what I have, you're welcome to buy. Can you teach me something? I would, but unfortunately, I barely have enough supplies for myself. I don't have any leftover for an apprentice. What should I go get so you can teach me? Um, perhaps some mana plants? We could really use them here in the monastery. How many do you need? Fifty would be great. I'll pay you for them, too. I will get the plants for you. Oh, that's excellent. I find it too dangerous out there myself. I'm glad I made it here in the first place. Here are some of the plants you requested. Very good. I can really use these. So he really wants mana plants only, okay. Show me your goods. So I'll just purchase his mana plant. And uh, go to the other magicians as well, alchemists and such, and get all the mana plants that I can get. So that I can deliver the quest, because I've used most of those plants, mana plants, to create potions. Because uh, I didn't think, well I didn't thought there were quests for mana plants, couldn't remember, so now I do though. 17,000 plus 7 is uh, 24,800. At least I have lots of vials. Right now I just have to be careful that if I'm gonna make those potions that I do not use the mana plants. Just give me a bit here to sell a couple of things. The things of which I'm certain I don't know no longer need. Shadow Beast horns I need for pure magic weapons, if I remember correctly. So don't you don't do this one. No. <laughs> I used up all my vials again. That wasn't smart. Oh well. So I need still need about thirty seven plants. What is it? Oh, we have company. Are you? No, that is impossible. Although, that hair, the nose, it's really you. Enos be praised. You finally came. I must apologize. I had pictured you a little different. And how? Well, somewhat bigger. I hope you're not too disappointed. No, of course not. I'm sorry. Who did you expect then? The one who will rescue us all. The savior. You will lead us humans back to the light. Why would I want to do that? Milton already told me you wouldn't be too happy about this. But he also told me about your exploits about the sleeper and the fight against the dragon if anyone can save us it is you we are going to help you as much as our limited powers will allow where is milton he is at the sanctuary there are stairs leading into the mountain from the front court of the monastery just follow them they will lead you straight to him I am on a quest for ancient knowledge. This monastery is a hoard of ancient knowledge. Our library contains treasures of untold value. Dargoth, our librarian, will help you. I want to pray to Enos. The chapel is open to you at any time. Can you teach me something? I am still a master of true magic. I can try to show it to you, 
if you want. Moreover, I'm rather a decent alchemist. If you are looking for spells, you should talk to Dargoth as well. He can surely teach you a few spells, too. Teach me something about ancient magic. I have brought some fire chalices. Ah, Milton will be really pleased about this. You should take them directly to him. No, he will not be pleased due to the fact that I've got other plans than to support Enos. At least in this lifetime. Because in the end, it matters not which god you follow. The destiny remains the same. The recreation. Oh. The recreation of the new Mad King. Enos be with you, brother. What are you doing here? I am praying for myself and for my brothers. Many of us paladins have turned away from Enos and lost their faith. Not you? No. For me, it is a test. A test of faith and resolve. With the help of Enos, I shall pass this test. Can you teach me something? I am an excellent fighter. Would you teach me how to fight? No thanks. Good day, Chisa. Easy wolf. Alright, so here we go, guys. The Library of the Ancient Ones of Enos. Some of these areas will have uh, books of ancient knowledge. Not all of them, sadly. Not many, uh, apparently. On the lower floor there are like two or three. More. So far, no other. Not that it matters, already I'm maximum ancient knowledge at the moment. The only thing I still need is to learn a couple of spells. Which is what I will do before going to the desert and liberate Mertana because uh, my good friend Lee is at the king and uh, that's basically the next episode but before I'm gonna do that I will have to find some water mages to see if they can train me in the arts of magic magic of Adanos Here it says something about alchemy. After the first great war, the orcs ruled the kingdom of Mertana, and the humans were their slaves, but the fighters were their gladiators. Chronicles of Dominance. The book about the fifth temple. Not that I needed it, but already have all the artifacts. Akasha had orders to hide the last artifact in the temple, and the waters raged as Akasha looked on. And the temple sank beneath the surface, and Akasha wandered north until he came to the huge mountain range in Eternal Ice, and he founded a clan, and it was the Clan of the Fire. Oh! <laughs> 
I want that skeleton's loot. What mm. can pick it up? So, so shall it be. Right, so let's see if the, any of these guys have some mana plants. Don't bother me. Show me your goods. Show me your goods. I still need 37, so that's 29 left. I must see Milton. Hmm. I mustn't let anyone in without permission. It's important. Oh well, you may pass then. So let's get the final fire chalice so I can deliver them to the orcs. Ah, there you are. I've been wondering when you would turn up here. Why? Were you expecting me? You have a talent for it. Great things may come to pass in this place. Therefore, you couldn't be far away. What's going to happen here? I don't know. But now that you are here, I am more convinced than ever that something will happen here. Once, 
Enos descended to our world in this place. Perhaps he was only waiting for you. Why is that? At the moment, it seems that fate keeps waiting for you. The sleeper could still be a coincidence. The dragon? Jackandar? Very unlikely. You are something special, and you play a special role. How did you get here? With Olivier, the paladin. I met him in Mertana. He told me about the monastery and the fire chalices, so I joined him. Maybe I wouldn't even have made it without him. Have you found the magic? Yes. Enos granted me a few spells. If you want, I can try to teach them to you. Teach me something about ancient magic. What should I do? I don't know. But as long as you don't know either, you can help me recover the fire chalices. I already found one of them. Now we need the rest. Where should I look for the fire chalices? We have sent out some paladins, and some of our brothers as well, to find the chalices. Go and look for them. Perhaps some of them know more by now. I see. Tell me more about the fire chalices. I have found out how we can use them to restore the paladin's magic. The chalices were forged for the first paladins. Here in this cave, in the purifying fire of Enos, powerful magic was bound into the chalices. The paladin who drank from one of the chalices would be so filled with the power of Enos that it enabled him to perform magic. But that was long ago. Over the years, their power grew ever weaker and was eventually forgotten. Rune magic replaced their function. That's what I call bad luck. Their power is now dormant, but not destroyed. Here, in this place, we can give them back their old power. How exactly are you going to restore the power of the fire chalices? Once we have all twelve of them, we must throw them into the sacred fire. And then? Then they will be filled with the power of Enos. Afterwards, we simply take them back to the paladins. Here, take my fire chalice. It is better if you keep it. Now find the remaining eleven and bring them here. Let me first save, once again, you know, since I have uh, all of the fire chalices, I'm not gonna do this option, it's for the rebel path, not for this one. I found all the fire chalices. I knew you wouldn't disappoint us, my friend. Throw them into the sacred fire now, hurry! Mm, no. Alright, so... Wolfstone and mana plants. Let's travel the cities of Mertana and uh, see if I can purchase some mana plants along the way. Still need about 29 of them. not deliver the fire chalice to the orcs just yet, but that is for later, in the next episode. Show me your goods. Some things will never change. He has gold. Also complete all the other quests that I can complete except for the uh, the one with the uh, furnace which is oh, I almost forgot that one I still have to do that one as well which will be uh, either this episode or the next I think the next would be better but I nearly forgot about that one check because all of them are dead. Let's 
go to Bakaresh, I will just go in order of my stone tablets. And since I'm going to Bakaresh, if I remember correctly, the uh, Black Mage will teach me how to uh, regenerate my mana. But I'm mainly here for the uh, alchemists for their uh, mana plants. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. Um, wine, all your mana plants, the vials, poison arrow, but no poison in itself. Show me your goods. Dominion or Beliar and his dominion. Teach me something about ancient magic. Okay, so it's the guy at we the top. We are the chosen people. Wealth for us, dominion for Beliar, and his dominion will come. And then those These things need to be done before I start liberating, because uh, I will only liberate the desert if uh, everything that the Dark Mage can teach me is learned. Well, the th important things, the... Uh, neutral things like regeneration is neutral a mana regeneration is neutral because you know every path will be a mage at some point this is this mage of adenos then you have the mage of enos and then you also have the mage of balear Teach me something about ancient magic. Let me first quick save. Just to make sure it's the right one that I think it is. If I think it's mana regeneration. Teach me something about ancient magic. I want to draw magic power from within myself. Alright, so mana regeneration has been learned. That's good. Alright, so Bene Arai. How many mana plants do I currently have? Sixteen out of twenty nine. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. Do you have a recipe for poison? Why does no one have the recipe for poison? Now, mana potions are basically turned useless due to the fact of regeneration. So they still can come quite in handy. Or Bad news. I am no longer prepared to take a risk. Everyone who is suspected of being involved in this will be killed. You're about to die! Wait, what? <clears throat> Stop right there, you dog. Your history! Okay, so I can't check the desert cities. Don't want to liberate yet. 
Even though they turned red, you know, I will kill them later. So only at uh, cities in Mertan that is then. I only raided one city in uh, the desert, so it's surprising that they turned to violence. We'll send you to hey, folks, there's a fight. Ah. Seriously. Good thing I quick saved before the mage. And why didn't didn't they attack me in Bakarish? I'm a bit confused, you know. I would just not go to Benerai anymore. Um, because uh, I'm a bit clueless on why they suddenly attacked. And apparently if I kill the Hashishin in the cities of the Orcs, they will try to kill me, which means the orcs will try to kill me as well, even though I have 75% reputation with them. And that is a bad thing, so I had to reload. All I want is a mana plants. Learning capabilities. Important ones. I want all right so I'm not gonna go to any of the desert cities so let's go to Cape Don How many do I still need? 16 out of 29, so 13 left. Show me your goods. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. He has poison. Not that I really needed it, but I could make some uh, some arrows out of it. So that's 11 more. And since I'm here, let's learn also a bit about thieving. See if I can deliver Wenzel's sword. Probably not because uh, Show me that your could goods. trigger the orcs to hate me, and I don't want to do that. He doesn't have anything, okay. What about you? Show me your goods. Nothing of any significance. Well, perhaps the wine. But that's about it. Teach me something about thievery. You aren't ready for that. 30. I'd, I will not learn these because uh, this guy will have magic runes. Good. Carry on. Good. Mm hmm. You aren't. That's the way. Carry on. Teach me something about haggling. Can't do that. You'll have to pay more for that. Listen, I paid you, so teach me. But look, you can already do it. When you're trading, you'll see that you get better prices. Thanks. 
Alright, on to the next. Okay, done. Faring. Show me your goods. Do you have plans? No, okay. Just double checking if I can let him know that uh, the artifact has been, well, the ancestor stone that Ali store has been returned to its rightful place, but uh, that's not an option apparently. But uh, I'm thinking about first doing the uh, liberation of Vanguard before I will continue and do the quests for the Hammer Clan. So that I uh, wear the Orc Commander armor. That would help me quite a bit with the furnace. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. Well, better two than none. With those two, I still need. 18, 20, so 9. Thanks. We'll see what happens. Tell me about... Tarok. Tarok is the arena master. The best orc warriors are fighting at the arena. You want to fight there? Then show him you're good enough. How? The Moras in Tarek's arena have won in many arenas throughout our realm. He will let you fight once you are good and ready. Zakosh. Many would like a weapon from Zakosh. His blades are strong and sharp. Just as strong as his pride. Meaning what? He only gives his weapons to warriors he deems worthy of wielding them. Many a warrior needs to do great deeds before he is allowed to bear Zakosh's weapons. Apparently didn't, didn't, uh, didn't do that one yet. Show me your goods. No runes. What well, runes, mana plants. Alright, on to the next. Because I don't think... Uh, which is the biggest alchemy? Gelder, most definitely. Eventually, they will all submit. Now, stealing the uh, goblets, etc., I will do later once I'm preparing myself to liberate Mirtana, thus killing the orcs, which is after the secondary ending. Or, as I like to call it, the alternative ending. Just like the alchemists' rings and such, you know. Show me your goods. Show me how to protect myself against poison. Poison is a nasty business, especially when it's in your body. You have to make sure that your body breaks down the poison as quickly as possible. Keep moving and sweat a lot. That should spare you the results of the poison. Okay, so that's max two. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. Four mana plants. So I need, still need a, a few, but we're getting closer and closer.
teach me something about thievery. Show me how to knock others down. You've only got one chance. If your blow isn't just right, there will be a fight. And you want to avoid that. So, creep up on the unsuspecting victim from behind and hit him exactly in the spot between the neck and the head. If you strike hard enough, he'll collapse like a cheap tent. Teach me how to pick oh, no. difficult locks. Ah, you want to get at the really valuable stuff. Hold the lockpick with just your fingertips. Then you Didn't have more want to feeling. do this one. You can tell if you push the locking mechanism in the right direction from the noise it makes. You know, like I said, it's wasting learning points. Um, due to the fact I will get the rune for it. But I will not learn this one. I accidentally learned the previous one before that. So I wanted to learn this one. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. See? Good. Good. Well, at least I can open better chests right now. Teach me how to pick impossible pockets. You've yeah. known the necessary hand movements for a while. You're right-handed, aren't you? Always keep your right hand moving. Wave it around. Right in front of his nose is best. That will distract him so that you can safely grab with your left hand. <laughs> Believe me, that trick always works. You aren't ready for that. Good. Carry on. <clears throat> Carry on. Carry on like that. So I made one mistake, but that's okay. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. Twenty six. Still not enough. The fire mage. Teach me something about ancient magic. He doesn't have anything. Show me your goods. Alright, so I have enough finally. Let me get those as well, or those as well. Um, and that was it. Let's make some uh, permanent mana potions. Since ancient knowledge has been uh, maxed out, I really don't need it anymore. So, you know, might as well uh, make use of it. Great use. Now, healing mana potions, I have overflow. Alright, let's drink these potions. Now, like I said, I didn't want to learn this one, but uh, I accidentally pressed it and I don't want to redo certain things. You know, so I will not learn this one. Normally I wouldn't learn this one either, but accidents happen. The only two th things that I still need in thieving are these. And I need this one. And then this one is also also ma almost maxed. I only need regeneration, which I can learn from Khan or King Robar. Um, but currently don't have the learning points for it because I fucked it up. But that's fine, you know, so um, Khan should be able to learn me this, if not then I will forget about it, but this one is still optional to gain, and uh, then this one is maxed, hunting is obviously maxed, and magic skills is obviously maxed, uh, smithing I only need pure magic ore, uh, which, for, which I need to clear the furnaces of ha the hammer clan, 
as a thief I still need to learn these two these two weren't supposed to be learned well this one isn't learned yet and this one was a mistake happens you know I'm not gonna re redo it for five learning points still got plenty of things to do to level up as thieving I still need these two then thieving is maxed alchemy is kind of maxed because of the fact I use druid stones you know so brew transformation potions is really not that necessary but if I have the learning points for it and I find a trainer for it I will learn it but it's optional then this is entirely maxed and uh, then we still need these four spells and then uh, we're max level so uh, we're getting closer and closer let's quickly uh, teleport back to the monastery and deliver the um, the um the mana plants and the rest of the missions i cannot do that yet this one he wants to have uh, the wolf stone which i have to kill the ripper beast for and uh, you want, this guy wants the mana plants which i'm able to complete right now so let's do that and then the episode is uh this episode is done and we're gonna go and uh see what else i can do probably I'm gonna liberate and kill the king probably i'm not entirely sure yet i will first roam about a bit to kill uh, things like the uh shy deer oh i wanted to do something here all right the uh alchemist guy where is he Here are some of the plants you requested. Very good. I can really use these. Really? You need six more? Show me your goods. I still need to get six, really. I thought I was done. I have to purchase six more of those mana plants. Teach me something about ancient magic. Teach me something about alchemy. Show me your goods. Three more. Ultimately, they'll make you do it. Plus, this area has a second alchemist. I don't think so. All right, so um, trellis. Where is trellis? Gotha is also a good one. Oh, multiple alchemists there. Show me your goods. Alright, so I should have it now. For real this time. Here are your plants. Good. I will keep my promise. Here's your gold. And of course, I will teach you. Teach me something about alchemy. Alright, so that one is done. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like what you see, feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, feel free to leave behind positive or negative feedback thumbs up or thumbs down is entirely up to you but if you do leave a thumbs up behind you you will support the fact of requesting a hardcore run which is all the three of the gods in one path so uh, yeah hope to see you guys in the next episode where we will either liberate Varent 
since the Hashishin has turned to violence or first do some other things like getting King Robot's head cut off but that remains to be seen I'm not entirely sure about that one yet but we will figure out in the next episode so I want to thank you guys again for the watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Good day and see you next time.